Sir, can you roll your winner down for me? Here we go. Welcome to Miss Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 darkest moments in teen movies. I wanted to tell Brian it was over now and everything would be okay. But that was a lie. For this list, we'll be looking at some of the most disturbing scenes from movies about younger characters. Which of these moments was the hardest to watch? Let us know in the comments below. Number 10. Charlie gets overwhelmed by traumatic memories. The perks of being a wallflower. This drama follows a teen named Charlie as he deals with mental illness and befriends a pair of older step-siblings at his high school. The narrative's darkest moment comes near the end, when Charlie has a romantic encounter with his new friend Sam. And, and you're not small. You're beautiful. Unfortunately, intimate touch triggers increasingly vivid and confusing flashbacks. The bad memories eventually overwhelm him and he soon needs to get help from a professional. He and the audience eventually learn that these flashbacks started because he was mistreated as a kid. Honey. I'm so sorry. It's truly difficult to see such a lovable character go through such terrible struggles. Thankfully, Charlie is in a much better place by the end of the film. My doctor said we can't choose where we come from, but we can choose where we go from there. I know it's not all the answers, but it was enough to start putting these pieces together. Number 9. School Violence – Elephant While this film received a lot of praise and even won the Palme d'Or at the Cannes Film Festival, it's far from an easy watch. The movie initially focuses on high school students focusing on dark issues like parents with addictive behaviours and body image struggles. However, things soon take a turn for the worse when two students endanger the lives of their schoolmates. The 12 minute scene centred around this event is absolutely gruelling, and while some characters we've met survive, others meet a tragic fate. Well, well, well. Elephant was definitely seen as controversial then, and may even be more divisive in modern times. Its raw depiction of violence is understandably hard to stomach. It's foul and fair. Yeah, I have not seen it. Number 8. Brian Learns a Horrific Truth Mysterious Skin A scene in which Joseph Gordon-Levitt's Neil is violently attacked was incredibly harrowing. Seeing that visceral sequence makes a later movie scene hit so much harder. The movie's main characters decide to fully talk about a horrific experience they were both subjected to. I was left there all alone. And you were in the dugout with me and you said... We'll take you home. And we got in a coach station wagon. Remember? Although Brian chalks up his strange memories to an alien abduction, Neil finally reveals that they were both forced to do horrible things by someone they trusted. Well, any time there's another boy involved, it's always the same. The coach used me as a prop. I believe in. The weight of this revelation caused Brian to break down in Neil's arms. Although this is how the film ends, viewers know the duo are only beginning to come to terms with their past. I wish with all my heart we could just leave this world behind. Rise like two angels in the night and magically disappear. Number 7. Khalil and Star's Police Encounter The Hate You Give In The Hate You Give, Amanda Stenberg's Star Carter is a high schooler whose life drastically changes while on the way home from a house party. She and her friend Khalil are pulled over by a police car. During the stop, the officer falsely assumes the young driver has a gun and fatally wounds him. That violent act was already heartbreaking enough, but watching Star get handcuffed while Khalil desperately needed help was sad and rage-inducing. Throughout this film, the characters discuss and dissect issues surrounding how police treat people of colour. The tragic scene of Khalil's passing made it crystal clear why these conversations need to happen. Help him! Well, I'll stay where you are. Do not move, okay? He's bleeding! Help him! Go on! Number 6. Neil Takes His Own Life – Dead Poet Society Give me your hands if we be friends, and Robin shall restore amends. After a teacher with radical methods reveals he was part of a secretive poetry society years ago, star student Neil Perry decides to resurrect the organisation. The main students who spend time in this unique club feel more empowered to pursue their passions. Where did you learn to play like that? Uh, 
My parents made me take the clarinet for years. I love the clarinet. I hated it. <laughs> <laughs> the saxophone. Saxophone is more... Sonorous. When society member Neil tries to get into acting, his disapproving father prepares to send him to military school. Father, that's a lifetime! Oh, stop it! Don't be so dramatic and make it sound like a prison term. You don't understand, Neil. You have opportunities that I never even dreamt of, and I am not going to let you waste I've got them. to tell you what I feel! I'm like so worried about it! Tell me what you feel! In the wake of this threat, the student tragically takes his own life. Neil's passing made for this classic film's saddest and most sobering scene. Number 5. Dally's Death – The Outsiders One of the bleakest scenes in this turbulent story takes place after a church fire. During the incident, Johnny sustains severe injuries. Unfortunately, he eventually succumbs to his wounds. Come on, Johnny, don't tire me now! His friend Dally is left despondent and desperate to process his emotions. The heartbroken youth lashes out by sticking up a local business. You know, you gotta pay for that magazine. <laughs> After leaving the store, a group of police officers find him. When the cornered Dally purposefully points his gun at them, he's fatally wounded and dies. Matt Dillon's perfect portrayal of the character's pain and desperation made this one of the film's most distressing sequences. Tony. Stop it, idiot! You stupid freak! Number 4. Poisoning Heather Chandler. Heathers. Although this cult classic leans more on dark comedy than other teen films, it still boasts some tremendously morbid moments. At least you got what you wanted, you know? Got what I wanted? It is one thing to want somebody out of your life, it is another thing to serve them a wake-up cup full of liquid trainer. After protagonist Veronica Sawyer becomes enchanted with a bad boy newcomer named JD, the pair takes part in truly horrifying antics. One of the worst crimes the duo gets involved in revolves around the demise of the popular Heather Chandler. I can't believe it. I just killed my best friend. And your worst enemy. Same difference. Veronica had intended to slip the high school royal a gross concoction that would cause someone to lose their lunch. However, JD ensured Heather actually drank a substance that had fatal consequences. The elaborate way the pair covers up the incident makes their actions so much worse. No one understood. I had feelings too. I die knowing no one knew the real me. Just could. Number three, Mary attacks Precious. Precious. Thanks to incredible performances from Monique and Gabrielle Sidibe, we were deeply affected by every bad turn that this drama took. But the most dismal moment took place after Precious returned with her newborn second child. <laughs> Her mother Mary responds to this development with violent actions. In order to protect herself and her child, Precious is forced to flee the apartment. Her vengeful mother continues to attack until they're both far away from each other. This devastating display showed just how dangerous a toxic family dynamic can become. Number 2. The Intervention 13. At the beginning of this film, 13-year-old Tracy Freeland already feels neglected by her well-intentioned mother, Melanie. But the pair's relationship goes from bad to worse throughout the film. How do you explain $860 in your purse? <laughs> what do you expect me to say, Mom? We jacked it, okay? It's not like your broke ass ever has any money to give me! Tracy befriends the rebellious Evie and becomes increasingly hostile towards her mum until the story's final minutes. Their guardians eventually stage an intervention, where Tracy is named as the cause of the pair's bad behaviour. You're really cruel, Tracy. I mean, I'm sure you can be a sweet kid when you want to, but right now, you're a really bad influence. What makes this scene even worse is that Evie sells her out. Actress Evan Rachel Wood makes Tracy's pain and anger incredibly palpable. 
Fortunately, this intervention is followed by the teenager finding some form of peace. <laughs> Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honourable mentions. Cecilia's Fall, The Virgin Suicides. This tragic event kickstarts the mysterious downfall of the Lisbon sisters. <coughs> the prom, Carrie. A harassed high schooler lashes out at her classmates with her terrifying powers. Taking out Bobby, Bully. A group of mistreated people ensured a bad person lost his life in a gruesome way. <laughs> Doughboy's fate, Boys in the Hood. We learn that Doughboy didn't make it at the very end of the story. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Jenny is too late. Kids. Much of this infamous film written by Harmony Corrine is designed to shock. However, that still might not prepare viewers for the extremely disturbing final scene. During the narrative, Jenny learns that she is HIV positive after she's been intimate with Telly. What? The test isn't 100% accurate. You should... I tested positive? I'm sorry. She wants to tell him before he puts someone else at risk. Unfortunately, Jenny is unable to tell Telly before he gets with another person. Where is he? Well, don't look for him. He's doing fine. He got a girl. <laughs> To make matters worse, she eventually passes out and suffers an agonizing and terrible fate. Kids was a thoroughly distressing depiction of teen life when it first came out, but bleak scenes like this ensure that it will continue to disturb audiences in the future. Jesus Christ, what happened? Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.